friends i'm going to start with partnership accounting i'll start with the very fundamentals of partnership accounting that is the very basics of partnership fundamentals of partnership now what we have in the fundamentals of partnership the very basic thing we have is the first and foremost thing we need to know what is a partnership that is the meaning of partnership for this i'll take a very simple example let's take an example of a marriage when two people get married we say that you must have open often heard people saying that they are the life partners now we call them as life partners why they are called the partners now because there is some sort of a relation between them there is a relation between them now what is the relation relation of a husband and wife so there is a relation established between two persons and we call them partners for lifetime that's why they are called the life partners similarly we have for the business now what we have for the business when two or more persons in the marriage we have only two persons very often so in the business when two or more people when two or more people join hands when two or more people join hands right they are called partners like in the marriage we have life partners a relation established between two people a relation of a husband and a wife similarly in the business when two or more people join hands when two or more people get related they are called the partners now what is the purpose of marriage running their family life happily running the family life happily now what is the purpose of a partnership in business that is running a business successfully right so one thing is very clear that for the partnership any kind of partnership you need at least two people okay in the business two or more people so the definition of partnership says it is an association between two or more persons for to carry on the business now if they are carrying on the business there will cert there will certainly be issues like the profits which the business will earn now there are two people if it is a single person then the profits will go to that person simple now if there are two or more people then how the profits will be divided obviously the profits will be divided all the persons who are partners in the firm they have joined the firm to earn the profits now what we will study is how the profits will be distributed distributed so the profit distribution is important
ओके सो दिस इज द वेरी बेसिक डेफिनेशन ऑफ पार्टनरशिप दैट इट इज एन एसोसिएशन बिटवीन टू और मोर पीपल हु ज्वाइन हैंड्स टू रन द बिजनेस सक्सेसफुली एंड द प्रॉफिट्स व्हिच आर अर्न बाय द बिजनेस विल बी डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड अमंग द पार्टनर्स सिंपल नाउ नेक्स्ट वी हैव so this was the very basic definition of partnership now one thing you must have studied in class plus 1 known as the business entity concept business entity concept now what it says business entity concept says that the entity that is the business and the people who are running the business they are the separate people from the accounting point of view that is accounting for business is done separately and the accounting for people who are running the business is done separately so one we have is business and the second we have people who are running the business people running the business so we have two things business and people who are running the business so this is the entity concept which says that the business and the people who are running the business are separate people the same thing goes for the partnership firm now here the business is a partnership firm it is a partnership business right and people who are running the business are the partners so these two are separate people the accounting for partnership is done separately and accounting for the partners is done separately this is from the accounting point of view now if we see from the legal point of view if we see from the legal point of view say tomorrow a partnership firm goes bankrupt the partnership firm is not able to pay its dues to the bank it takes a loan from the bank but it is not able to repay the loan to the bank or the people from whom it had taken the loan partnership firm goes bankrupt now if we say from the accounting point of view the partnership and the partners are separate people so to whom the banks will go to recover the money they can't go to the partnership firm say the partnership firm the partnership firm goes bankrupt that is partnership firm takes a loan from the bank it is unable to repay suppose there is a partnership firm x there is a bank z now it has taken a loan of say 1 lakh from bank z now on the due date or after the due date x is not able to repay the loan plus the interest to bank that means now the bank declares x as bankrupt that is the x can't pay now to recover the money this bank z will approach whom it will approach the partnership firm or the partners of the partnership firm obviously it will approach the persons who are running the partnership firm that is it will approach the partners they will say yes mr give us our money back right 
so we can say from the legal point of view partnership and partners are the same person we can't say that partnership the partners when the bank approaches the partners the partners can't say that partnership is a separate entity go to the partnership firm and recover the money the bank will say you are running the partnership firm we will recover money from you we won't go to the partnership firm and recover the money from them you are responsible for the bankruptcy you are not able to run the uh, partnership firm efficiently you are not able to run it efficiently and earn the profits that's why you haven't paid our loan you have misutilized our loan so we will recover this loan of 1 lakh from you so from the legal point of view we can say the partnership partnership and partners are same right now let's see here i have taken a example of a marriage in the marriage we get the marriage registered we get the marriage register and we get a marriage certificate this is basically a proof of marriage that yes this x and y are married now this is a proof of marriage marriage certificate similarly we need a proof of a partnership right so for the part for the proof of partnership we have a document known as partnership deed we have a document known as partnership deed it is a legal document okay it is signed by all the partners through which the partnership comes into existence through which the partnership comes into existence so that is the that means it is the proof of partnership yes we have a partnership we have a partnership firm we are the partners okay suppose x y z are the partners so it will say that x y and z are the partners of partnership firm x y z limited okay it is a partnership deed is a proof of their being the partners it is basically an agreement between the partners now what are the various contents of the partnership deed that we will discuss later on so what we have discussed is the very basic meaning of a partnership firm what is a partnership firm i have taken an example of a marriage in the marriage we have the life partners a relation is established between two persons a relation of a husband and a wife similarly in the business a relation is established between two persons they are called the partners and the business they are going to run is known as the partnership firm when two or more people join hands they are known as the partners and the business is known as the partnership firm then we have the business entity concept for the from accounting point of view partnership and partners are separate people from legal point of view they are one partnership and partners are the same then we have the partnership deed that is a legal document establishing the partnership the rules of the partnership the agreement between the partners that how they are going to distribute their profits how they are going to share their profits how they are going to pay the interest on the loan given by any partner so there are various issues in the partnership deed 